Good morning, folks. This is uh, a few days later, after a couple of days in the most beautiful cottage um, of my subscriber, Lyle. Uh, and today, just a shot to let you know why this wasn't a hard decision to come out here and come and get a motor Guzzi Grizzo, which isn't going to be a hard decision anyway, but this is what you wake up to. So where are we? Aruba? British Virgin Islands? No, this is Blind River on Lake Huron, one of the Great Lakes. So coming out to Ontario was a bit of a leap of faith as I indicated last week. I'd been looking for a Moto Guzzi Grizzo 1200 SE for quite a while and I'd had many false dawns. Then this one came up, not on Marketplace, which is where I had been looking, but far cheaper on Kijiji. The major problem though was it was 4,000 kilometers from me and I really didn't see how I could get there. That's when Lyle stepped in. But even with Lyle's help, I never actually got to see the bike till this moment when I flew in to Rick's in Sudbury. So after seeing the ad, I contacted Rick by email, chatted with him a few times and then left it for about a month just to seriously contemplate and think about this, knowing that this could go at any time given the fabulous price it was on for. I guess subconsciously I was kind of hoping that fate would make the decision for me. And it did. No one bought it. And when you see a deal that's just too good to be true, well then, you know that old saying, it probably is. However, I contacted Rick by email again, chatted to him, and then gave him a ring. Yeah, you know, on a telephone. Not FaceTime or any of the other things, and that's the thing about Rick. He's old school, honest. He came across straight away as upfront and completely and absolutely straightforward. And from that moment on, even though I was 4,000 kilometers away, hadn't seen the bike, I knew I was gonna put the money down for it. And while Lyle had told me how good this bike was, you never quite really believe it until you see it with your own eyes. And he was right. It was obvious Rick loved this bike and was very sad to see it go. He'd obviously taken extreme care over this thing. He was very, very proud of the Moto Guzzi. The bike is in impeccable shape. And you can see from his workshop floor, you could probably eat off that as well. And Lyle, looking pensive in this shot, is probably wondering whether we're going to manage to get the V-Twins jugs next to his BMW's horizontally opposed jugs. But due to Lyle's great organization and determination, we were going to do it. In fact, he'd even told me that if I didn't buy it, he was going to. I think you can see the glint in his eye. 
Rick enjoys making models of bikes out of scrap that he's got around his workshop. He's got several models of varying different sizes there. He's also got some interesting art on the walls. We found that quite funny. But that's enough waffling. It's time to get going. And as they say in the movies, and let's do this. Okay guys, well this is day one, we've been four or five hours uh, along the road, we're in a place called Terrace Bay, we're on our way to Thunder Bay, it will have been about eight or nine hundred kilometers on the first day from where we started from, which was Blind River in Ontario, down there is Lake Superior, and I must say I've been really impressed with the scenery, I didn't know how beautiful Northern Ontario is, it is absolutely gorgeous, bikes are doing well, bug guard is keeping the bugs off the bikes, which is great. Advertised at breakfast, but uh, we think the breakfast closed down a long time ago. So I thought I'd show you this morning. First of all, it did rain last night, but we've got bike covers and some of the security that Lyle does. He's got some chocks on his wheels. We've got chains over the bikes. Well, actually, only one of them. I won't tell you which one, but one got no place to put a chain through it without damaging rims and things like that. And of course, we've got the lock on the trailer. And I will tell you, I was a little concerned about uh, whether this would still be here after last night, and Lyle was too. And it's kind of a rough end of uh, Thunder Bay, I think, judging by the drive through. But uh, yeah, it, it made it, so it was still here. This is, this is good news, so we're going to uh, hopefully. Uh, get going today to Brandon, Manitoba. Get there all, all the way by hopefully this afternoon. This is so, as you can see, Lyle has uh, made this shield. It's out of plywood. It actually fits into two very big uh, aluminum extrusions there. And uh, it fends all the air and the bugs off the bikes, which is excellent. So yeah, if you don't know where Thunder Bay is, it's in Ontario, right by Lake Superior. The weather today is supposed to improve. It's uh, looking like it's brightening up a little bit. And we're off to, I think it's Brandon, Manitoba today. So we'll see you soon. Well, soon for you, not for me. Once again, thanks for watching everyone. If this is the first time you've watched, please consider subscribing. I do motorcycle reviews, motorcycle related product reviews, off-road and on-road vlogs, as well as tours. Even though I'm not the most diligent poster, don't forget to follow me on social media. That's Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And to like, and especially, I'm begging you here, folks, subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified whenever I release a video. This is the Blue Marble Rider, out.